So I'm here with Mr. Dan, um, Dan Richards, and he will introduce himself and say who he is, what he wished to do, and why he's so important to Rosal and Crossing Winds and the Grenadines as well. So, so Dan, it's all up to you, and uh, good night. Oh, yeah, man. Send it big up yourself. No, uh, my name is Dan Richards, for those persons who don't know me. Um, I am a resident of Rose Hall, lived here all, all my life, and also by profession, I'm a retired agricultural officer. Uh, worked with the Minister of Agriculture for almost four decades. He was in the teaching service, the rest is history. Now, um, in terms of the land that we, the, 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 the trail that we, that's in question. If you understand Rose Hall, Rose Hall had a, there were some strategic names in Rose Hall um, that up to now a lot of persons don't understand what they mean and the significance of it. For example, um, there was uh, an area, there's still an area that is called Yard. Yard is, is, is where the slave owners lived. Um, it has some significance in the sense that it is the highest um, view in Rose Hall where anybody could overlook any part of the community. You could stay there and basically paper to yourself and, and, and see. see exactly what is happening. Now, at that point, the slaves used to live in, in an area that we call it now Nigger House. But what they used to call it was Nigger House. You know, it was a derogatory name that was given to slaves, and that is where they lived in communal shacks. So that whole piece of road that we call Top Road now, that is, that is, that is where slaves the, the, the slaves used to used to live. Now, below that, on the on the western side of on the eastern west, no, no, the southern side of that road, were well, they still are um, land with slopes of about say forty five fifty degree slopes, and these lands were controlled by Massa. And Massa gave the slaves these lands to work so that they could get a subsistence farming. So these, these lands, they were steep, very difficult to, 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 to maneuver, and they were very prone to erosion. The, 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 slave, owner, the slave owners could not plant sugarcane on these lands because of the topography and the, um, the structure of the soils. Now, as a result, these, most of these lands in that area, um, they are presently uncultivated. What is significant about these lands also is that they were clay soils, and the people, well, in my, when I was much younger, my, fa my parents used to go to that area and dig out the clay, and mix the clay with cow dung in order to plaster the house, right? So it all in the cocoa, yes, yes. all that here was just, uh, clay. you used to call it that, mm. it was clay. Mm. So, you know, if you if you understand the, 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 the nature of the soil, when, when water hits that, there is an impervious layer mm -hmm. below, and water can't go through that, so, it just it just goes down the hill mm -hmm. erosion now um a valley automatically developed because of the topography and that valley is what we call planting wharf mm -hmm. so the, the the a track would have been established by our people to go through to go down in the valley mm -hmm. and go so that they could access lands on both sides. Mm -hmm. And that is what you call the planting of track. That is what that is, that is the, the track that you're trying to establish. Yes. And it is very significant because um, most of the persons 
below 60, you don't know much about that. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, the the lands on the on the, the, the north eastern side of that road, they were lands that were cultivated by the slave owners mm -hmm. because they were lands that could have um, you could have um, plant sugar cane and tobacco and whatever, whatever I don't know, whatever. Else. But they could have done that because they were more gentle slope, gentle sloping, and the, the, the soil texture was much better. Mm. That is in the Piro, um, Jackal, North of Jackal, mm -hmm. you know, Palmyra, Copeland area. So, Massa Plant Day and the, the, the the slaves or the, the peasants, mm -hmm. they were down, down where, where nobody could, nobody don't even want to watch. To watch. <laughs> um, the Grey Road mm -hmm. that connected Coase Hill to Rose Hall, and the families between Coase Hill and Rose Hall are very, very close. Mm. They are very interconnected. So, sorry, was it Rose Hall or Jack Hill? Well, Jack Hill, because mm -hmm. Jack Hill was where the, the, the residence was, the, was the first village. And then we moved down to Rose Hall. Mm -hmm. Jack Hill, where the tank is. Yes. Right. Um, so, great, a lot of persons in Coast Hill own land in Jack Hill. Yes, that's true. Right? So, that road connected um, Westwood with Jack Hill and Rose Hall as a result. Mm -hmm. Now, that road is supposed to be about a, a 12 foot road. You know, mm -hmm. but it was never really maintained. Mm -hmm. It used to be just occasionally cleaned by the government, um, probably once a year. But I don't think they maintain that road anymore. Mm -hmm. So that road probably is a track right now, yes. and could definitely be refurbished. Yes. Um, the the Westwood Estate, where most of the Coast Hill residents used to used to work. Uh, was connected to to Jack Hill and in the, the Palmyra area. But if you trail if you trail Palmyra there's a sugar old sugar yes the old sugar mill yes. somewhere out there. Yes. And remember that the the, the, the the water catchment in what you call up you know in in um Antoine. Antoine. Mm -hmm. It was specially designed you understand? Mm -hmm. To support what the kind of agriculture that was going on in Rose Hall. Mm -hmm. um, so the, and again, that had a little, it had an outlet to Coase Hill. Yes. So yeah. Coase Hill got some of that, some of the water from Antwine. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was designed by, mm -hmm. by, 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 by those persons who, who really set out to, to enslave our minds. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. um, but the, 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 the whole connection between the estate, Rose Hall, well, Rose Hall was an estate too, but mm -hmm. it, didn't, it didn't get much prominence. Mm -hmm. And then the Robertsons took over a piece, and then the Tomoka people get the majority of the lands in Rose Hall. And this is why in Rose Hall, you don't have any title to lands by Rose Hall. Mm -hmm. So, 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 then, so before, before um, the, the, the British take over, and the French, did the road used to use by, because I was told that um, the Garifuna used to live in Copeland. Yeah. So would the road be used the by? The road was used by the Garifuna. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. Because they were a fishing, they, they, they were people who, who had the fishing at heart and therefore they would use those roads to go down to Cumberland mm -hmm. and Trumaka Bottom. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. So those roads were existing roads with, with, with specific uses. But that planting off road yes. that was designed by the by our people just to get access out. Out. Because they couldn't walk the Grey Road. Exactly. Okay. Grey Road was a little off for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So because they had the, the two sides of that of that um, ravine basically, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they um they used that road yes. to come down there. Yes. Yeah. Because one of it, one of the roads we can use from the Ferdinands come down. Yeah. And one can be used from 
from my side of um, yeah, yeah. Jack Hill come down yeah. into that road. As a matter of fact, the one from the Ferdinand was designed by, by, by Mr. Ferdinand basically mm. because he accessed that whole piece of land. Yes, yes. And he did that set of fruit trees and so on. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, those probably want to yes. do a lot of work on those and to those. get them restored. But yeah, yeah. Those, those could very well be private lands. Yes. But then most of those lands there, um, they were occupied by our people, but I don't think they were ever purchased Purchase. by them. Most of those lands are Kung lands. Mm. You understand? Yeah. The, the whole place is forested now, so it's going to be interesting yes, going forward. Yes. So for those, because uh, I'm going to do this video and by Mr. Dan permission to upload it. Uh, for those who don't know, we are going to work with Mr. Dan Rosa Culture and Development Organization to do two trails. We are going to do the Great Trail and the the same planting we have trail going out to long line mm -hmm. and we are going to do it with uh jeff that's the global environmental facility mm -hmm. and we are going to do it as soon so you know this history we have to put as background yeah. so in case persons know a little more they can still contact us you know and, and tell us what that's it, that's yes. it. okay <laughs> give thanks yeah, yeah, bless, yeah. bless.